Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Tonight we return to the Perno Biscuit Factory for a game of Chain of Command. Alright, welcome back to the Perno Biscuit Factory. So last night we did a game of Chain of Command, I'm sorry, Bolt Action on the same map featuring my new urban, or uh, not urban, industrial terrain that I just finished up this week while on my vacation. I've had it sitting around for quite a while. I finally got around to uh, figuring out the texture method and the paint I wanted to use. So there it is. So this is the Perno Biscuit Factory based on the decal I have there. Or not decal, it's just stuck on there. It's a piece of paper. Uh, just downloaded it from online. So anyway, um, in last night's game, it was 1940. The BEF and the Germans converged on this town and this factory and we're searching for important documents and machine parts and the Germans of course won and four years have passed and we are back but this time it's the Americans are coming in and we want to take this biscuit factory back the Germans have been pumping out biscuits for the war effort for four years and the Americans want these biscuits for their own men so we're gonna be playing a game of chain of command Tonight we will be playing scenario six from the rulebook, attack and objective. So the Americans will be the attackers, the Germans will be the defenders. The objective will be one of these buildings in this little village here. And the attackers will be placing three patrol markers, three or four patrol markers anywhere on their edge. The defenders will be placing four patrol markers on the objective itself. The attackers will get some free moves. I'm going to have uh, 12 support points for the attackers, six for the defenders plus three more due to uh, force rating difference and the objective is to capture the objective so it's pretty straightforward move up the length of the board and capture the village uh, terrain wise pretty much everything on this board is hard cover building wise and fence wise the orchards are just act as orchards so six inch visibility into them uh, 12 or 18 of course probably not even 18 across but 12 inch visibility if both parties are in there. This is a patch of wood, so four inch visibility. And the hedges are gonna be four inch visibility as well and soft cover. And that is it for terrain. So let's go ahead and take a look at the forces. Here we have the attacking American force. This is the US Armored Rifle Platoon. It's a plus four force rating. So we'll start off with the leaders. So first in command, Lieutenant Steve Rogers. Assisting him with Platoon Sergeant John Baldwin. He's one of our patrons. And he's actually been in the Nerd Cave here and played a game with us one time, which was really fun. Uh, it's on the channel. It's, it was really good. It's uh, the only time you'll see Italians on this channel, probably. Um, so, going over the rest of the platoon, we have two rifle squads. Each are ten rifles and a sergeant with a rifle. One of them, uh, I did uh, form a bazooka team. You're allowed to form a bazooka team out of any of the line squads by replacing two riflemen with the bazooka team. So it'll, instead of being a uh, one big team slash squad, it'll be a two team squad, and one being the bazooka team. We also have the headquarters squad. It's seven riflemen with a sergeant with um, rifle. We have two, a uh, light machine gun squad. So it's two five-man uh, teams with light machine guns and a sergeant with a rifle. And then finally we have a 60 millimeter mortar team with five crewmen. So that is the attacking force. Uh, we'll go see what the defenders are bringing. Here we have the defending platoon. It's a uh, platoon of SS Panzer Grenadiers. They're going to be regular, so plus one on their force rating. This platoon consists of one lieutenant with submachine gun, Lieutenant Fritz Adler. Also has a Panzer Shrek team and three squads. Each squad consists of two light machine gun teams. Uh, one of them is two crew with three extra riflemen, and the other team is two crew with two extra riflemen, as well as two, pan or, uh, two Panzer Fausts per squad. So plenty of uh, portable AT weaponry in this platoon, and a lot of firepower coming out. So uh, that's it. That's the defending platoon. So again, I'll be getting 12. Andre will be getting uh, half of that, so six, but he'll be getting three more due to the force rating difference of three. So, um, as soon as Andre gets here, we'll go ahead and do all our pre-game uh, 
stuff and then we'll get started. But Andre's here, we're gonna do our force morale. <laughs> okay, nice Leah. job, Travis. So the Americans are not very motivated to attack the biscuit factory, obviously. <laughs> I don't blame them. It looks like a difficult mission to me. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard. So now we will do the patrol phase. phase complete. So Andre is pinned back here in his corner. By the way, he picked uh, this as the objective, so he gets a free one in there. He's got one behind the hedge here, he's got one inside the rat bastard, and he's got one over there on that edge. And I wound up with one here, one between these buildings, and one in that orchard there. So I, I got four free moves and I was able to move up all three of them plus an extra move and so I was able to get a firm toehold into the uh, biscuit factory. Unfortunately, I need to get all the way to the other end to claim the objective. So that is it. Uh, so now we will pick our support and do our plans. Okay, the American plan. So 12 support points. We're bringing the 105 Sherman and the 81 millimeter mortar battery. That's 12 points. So I'm gonna try to shut down um, one of these houses here. So I don't know where I'm going to drop it yet. Probably going to place my spotter either along this edge here so I can see out but not quite be seen. And maybe try to shut down both of these. And then the Sherman will probably stay on the back line as long as possible and just shell these houses if he's in them or if I can get line of sight on him. Um, direct fire. But with as much Panzerfaust and the Panzer Shrek getting that 105 Sherman up too close is not a great idea. So mainly it's just gonna sit back and start shelling houses from the back edge. And then my infantry, I might put one in here with um, the squad or with the spotter. I could put some up here, maybe the machine gun squad can go up here and just start laying out fire or just move around uh, through the factory and maybe try and swing around this way. So, not sure bringing the 105 Sherman's a great idea with all the AT weapons, and especially if he brings another AT gun or a tank like a Stug or something, could be in trouble. But if I do it right, uh, I should be able to sit back and shell. So, the trick is going to be um, the uh, mortar barrage, keeping it uh, clear of one of the buildings so I can shell one while the other one's under the barrage. So. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that's my plan, at least. I don't know if it'll work out, but we'll see. So we'll see what the Germans are going to do. The German plan. This is where I come up with some brilliant strategy. But uh, seeing as I'm defending a bunch of buildings on a table with enormous amount of line of sight blocking terrain and heavy cover, my big uh, reveal here is right out in here we're gonna drop a couple minefields and that's uh, hopefully going to uh, slow Travis down a little bit or at least block his uh, line of entry um, I do have a, uh, a stationary gun in an entrenchment it's uh, got uh, 6HE so it's decent for popping his infantry um, for the most part, I'm just going to have to sit back and kind of react to Travis. So he's going to have a chance to move up and really be in position to launch an assault. Um, possibly even waiting for a double turn before I can really do squat. So unless he makes some huge tactical error and I feel like I really need to sprint around behind him, um, which uh, I don't see a whole lot of value to that. Um, it's just going to be me waiting for him, which he knows. And uh, he's going to come at me hard. So I'm expecting a, a barrage and he can really just pin me down and move everything up. And not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, 
I'm spread out enough you can't get all my uh, jump off points under the barrage but uh, yeah it's uh, it's still gonna be uh, it's gonna look bad for a while but he still has to come in and actually pull me out which is going to be real difficult uh, with a couple entrenchments and all this hardcover building. So here we go. The plan's complete. So Andre, two of his support points were two minefields. So he's blocked the road. He's blocked the in, uh, exit over there from the factory. And the attackers get the first phase. So here we go. Couple fives. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Bring it. All right, first phase. Machine gun squad came in here, hard cover on the roof, covering that way with the Overwatch. And then with the two and the four, I brought in Sergeant Baldwin and one of the rifle squads. Now we move on to the German phase. Ooh, check, check that out. Yeah, I know. You're 11, I'm 8. <laughs> yeah. And my whole strategy here was to roll all, your all my fives. Oh. No fives, but you did wind up with two threes, and you can bring all three of your senior leaders in. Andre will pass. Another five. Oh, sure. You roll all my fives. And two threes and a two. This squad moved up, brought another squad in. That's all I'm going to do. So back to the Germans. No fives. <laughs> Ooh, but look at all those. Uh... All those teams. You can bring your Panzer Shrek team. Bring your SIG 33 for support that you brought, right? Uh, yeah, go like ahead. One. <laughs> My turn, okay. Hey, another five. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, the one brought in the spotter for the battery here. And then the headquarters squad has come in to support him. So back to the Germans. Hey, no fives again. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, though. Look at all that uh, small stuff. You bring in a bunch of squads or teams. He's passing again. Hey, two more fives. I got my chain of command dice. And a t uh, two and a four, though. That's not what I needed. Oh, by the way, I did contact the battery when I came in, too. So, all right, let me see if I'm going to do anything with this. All I did was use uh, Sergeant Baldwin. He had them move up uh, to the wall. I can jump into this orchard and not be seen, so that pretty much, since he's blocked my way over here, that might be my next, my only option at this point. And then he just had this other squad move up with him, so your phase, Andre. All fives. Ooh, <laughs> no. I got two fives. <laughs> Again, no fives, so you're going to pass again, right? Uh, unless I, I could bring both senior, oh, I've only got... Bring two senior leaders in. Yeah. Three. Three well, senior leaders. <laughs> let's one off each jump off point. <laughs> there you go. I think I should do that. All right. I'm assuming by the reaction. My level of sarcasm, I'm. Uh, Man. Oh, a one. Okay. I'm, That's what I'm I need. thrilled uh, beyond belief. Yep. So I got a one. So I'm going to call in a ranging shot. So the ranging shot, I tried to land it in this tree here. It's scattered there. So I'm Not still a horrible spot. A, maybe if I get another one, I can. Double phase! Another chance to roll some fives. You haven't rolled a five yet. I have not, but I got a two, three, four. Okay. He's not going to do anything except try to get some fives. Again, no fives. Wow. Yeah. This is an unprecedented run of crappy rolls. It uh, is pretty phenomenal considering all I wanted was fives. Yeah, I've already got my chain of command dice. What are you waiting for? Uh, hey, double phase. I'm waiting for you to get a double phase. And two fives. <laughs> <laughs> and a three. Damn, I need a one. Well, maybe I'll get one now on the next now phase. Use the three? For what? Move up, uh, jump over the wall. Mm, bring let me get somebody think. else in. So the, uh, Sherman came in on a three. So Andre's advice. I took his advice. Now he'll probably blow it up with something right away. Oh, end of turn. And double phase. And a one. <laughs> There's Bring the one the I need. <laughs> Bring in the barrage and keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, forget that. I'm going to re-roll. Uh, re uh, okay, get rid of your overwatch. All right, there's some ones. Okay. 
And a three and a four. All right, so Lieutenant Rogers came in here, put the machine gun, machine gun squad back on Overwatch, put those guys back on Overwatch with one of the ones we called the ranging shot and landed it. And with the other one, I brought in the 60 mil mortar. And with the three, I put the Sherman back on Overwatch. So we're right back to where we started. Woohoo! Like nothing ever happened. <gasps> I it get another fade. double phase. <laughs> and no fives. And no fives. Still, this has got to be a record for the longest rolling with no. You'll probably get like five of them now. Whoa! Hey, you got two. Oh man, you're in trouble now, Travis. Do and you concede? Yes. It's okay, you guys heard it. Three fives. Wow. So I'm up to five, almost another uh, chain of command ice. And then a three and a four. So there it is. There's the, uh, the battery and everything else. That's all I'm going to do. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Oh, yeah. Now, I told you. You should have given up <laughs> while you had the chance, Travis. Two, uh, two and a one left. You didn't do anything. A two and a one. So he's going to pass again, so I guess it's up to me. I need to start moving. Yes, I got do. everything in place now, so it's time to start moving. But you've only got two chain of command dice. Oh, well, almost. Almost. Oh. Oh. Quit okay. lying. Quit lying. <laughs> three Sherman and a four. Moved up. Only six inches on three dice, so obviously a little hesitance. And then uh, Lieutenant Rogers ordered this uh, headquarters squad to move up. And really, that's all I'm going to do. So back to Andre. Yep. Notice how the uh, American forces are stalled out due to the hurt. <laughs> heavy German resistance. <laughs> we know you're out there somewhere. And my senior leaders are itching to get into yeah, the fray. To to senior leader. You have one. You don't know that. <laughs> no, I could have brought another one. Which is always a good idea. As it a is. German. Especially as long as two points or something. It's like a no-brainer. Pass. Okay. Oh, oh, double phase. I was like, crap, I just ended my barrage. <laughs> <laughs> and another chain of command point. Oh, it's just a double phase? Yeah, <laughs> just a double phase. I'm so gonna the Sherman sure. moved up to the edge. Just a, He's still obscured, but he has line of sight now. And then I moved that squad with uh, Lieutenant Rogers. Uh, they moved around the edge and got a pretty good roll. So back to the next phase. Another <laughs> three more fives and another double phase. Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> this is very odd. You weren't going to do anything with your three fives? <laughs> I did. I've almost got up to another chain of command. <laughs> and then a one, so this two, squad moved up on a two. With the one, I just moved the barrage forward six. And then with the four, Sergeant Baldwin had these guys start moving up to work our way over uh, the wall. So back to the German phase. <gasps> Another five. Look at that. I'm almost up to a full dice. <laughs> I'm almost up to three. Dice, dice. And you wound up with a two ones and a two. I can bring in a full Andre's senior a, leader. Bide his time again. again. Hey, another double phase. <laughs> no trip. But no way to move that squad. Of course, I don't know if I really wanted to, but uh, hey, look at that. My third chain of command dice and a four and a one. Yeah, but I'm going to get one soon. Oh, what, a chain of command dice? Yeah. Before Sergeant Baldwin uh, had these guys go over, they moved up. And the one I actually moved the barrage back another, back to where it started. The wandering barrage. The sign of when you don't know what you're doing. Kind of like the wandering Sherman, right? <laughs> Sounds like you're uh, using some of my old strategies. <laughs> the wandering Sherman. One, three, and a four. And a start. Of my fourth chain, Sergeant Baldwin nice. had uh, these guys move up tactically only two, but they made room for these guys who got a one, so they barely half of them got over the wall. The Sherman just went on Overwatch, and then I moved the barrage. Or was that last? I, don't I think know. that was last turn. Was it? So I actually still have a one left then. Or maybe you did. I don't know. No, it was last turn because I was like, did I have a one? So did I you want to move it again? <laughs> hmm. You could move it up six inches. <laughs> yeah. Through, I think it was in a better spot. The wandering Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll yet? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Double phase! That is so cool. Alright. And two. So he's going to pass on this first one. We couldn't quite see the whites of their eyes. Hey, but I've got a chain of command eye. Woohoo! 
And two twos and a three, which I'm assuming you're going to pass again. I'll go ahead and pass you again. All right, so we'll just move right over here slowly. Slowly, slowly. And roll a double phase. Nope. But I did get another chain of command point. And two, three, two. So with the three of the squad moved up here along the edge. And the four Baldwin moved these guys up tactically. They got a six, and these guys actually got completely over the wall. So we're fully in the orchard with two squads. Uh-oh. Might have to do something. Bunch three, 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 four. <laughs> there you go. That's the perfect roll. Three squads and your whole, almost your whole force. Yep. All right. So Andre deployed a squad here in hardcover. He's got the uh, LE18 in hardcover. He's got another squad here not in hardcover. So what he did, uh, he brought them. He's going to shoot with them first at these guys. Uh, he used one of my dice to interrupt, and I got out of the forest. But now these guys are about to take a beating, so it's going to be 20, what did we say, 21 shots, or 20? As 20, or 20 21. plus. Uh, plus the machine gun, submachine gun, so like 24 shots. 24 wow. shots needing uh, fours. But I am tactical, so I fours to hit. Cover. This could be ugly. But at least I know where you are now. Oh, look See, at all those it. threes. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only seven hits out of 24 shots. I had more threes than hits. <laughs> Holy crap. Three. That's something. Count them up just to make sure, but I think it's only seven. Nine threes. Hey, look, here comes Eight. the dog. Nope. I got I got eight hits. Eight hits. But nine threes. Oh, nine hits. This could be bad. Uh, dead and a shock. Because I'm in hard cover. Because I'm tactical. See if it's a leader. Nope. <laughs> dead and a shock. Holy crap. They're really hiding behind those trees, aren't they? Okay, so your uh, infantry gun. Yep. Six he six. <laughs> two hits <laughs> but I will be in soft cover for this one so oh boy uh, shock wow so out of all that I took two shock and one dead wow and here I was thinking about withdrawing <laughs> yeah all right now I see what up my rolls no you don't well, the two fives, I'm getting... Oh, I burned one of these. And then, uh... One, one, three. So I can move the barrage. <laughs> Yay. And I got a three nice. and a one, one. Uh, with the three, I moved him into the orchard. With the one of the ones, I'm going to actually fire the 60 mil mortar at the... Uh, we'll fire at the crew of the gun. Eight fives. Two hits, reducing cover... So one point of shock, and then with the last one, I'm actually going to move the barrage up. Me and Andre have been talking for at some length about <laughs> if he should interrupt. First he was going to interrupt an assault, and then he was going to interrupt and shoot, and then in the end he wound up deciding not to do either. So I'll move the barrage up six, and then I'll just roll for everyone under the barrage. Okay, so it looks like it only hit half of you. <laughs> it doesn't hit my guys. I already measured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the uh, gun team. Nothing. <laughs> and then the uh, squad. Two hits. Uh, you actually roll those. So two hits on your squad, Andre. One per team. Nothing. Uh, point of shock. Because you're in light cover. So just a point of shock. And you are pinned now. And as I was telling Andre earlier, it's all fine and good. It seems like I've got it under control but ultimately I still need to kill all the Germans and I still need to take that which frankly is not easy even when you can get into position and everything you want it's still damn hard to actually seal the deal at the end so that is it for my phase back to the Germans uh, two, three, four, that squad up and pull the point of shock off of somebody somewhere the gun. 
Three three is a four and another five. Maybe you should move some stuff. Where I got I got a barrage in front of me. <laughs> Use your uh, you can end the turn. Oh yeah, end the turn <laughs> and the barrage ends and I can. So I moved the Sherman up with a one d six to there. I moved him back to get within range of him. I moved those guys back. And Andre forced me to use a three to move those to back <laughs> an inch so that I had the one inch separation so I can't fire my machine guns. Not thinking that it mattered at all, but... Uh... Oh, well, it only matters that I can't fire 20 shots, which I missed for not firing the Overwatch the first time. Okay, so long as we know why you're upset about it. <laughs> so I'm now 44 <laughs> shots down because Andre wants to be an ass. <laughs> okay, so uh, the only thing I can really do... Oh, I moved the barrage back. That's why I moved him over, so I can get line of sight. So I'm going to fire the uh, howitzer at the gun. So I'm needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Wow. And reducing. Oh no, you got a gun shield, don't you? Yep. So st still hard cover. Six hits. Do I spread them? Uh, yep, yeah, I guess you do, because you're within four. Uh, Alright, so just one team. The, okay, so the uh, gun. Okay. Nothing. And the uh, other boys. <sighs> Nothing, after all that. Okay. Yeah, again, uh, I don't have enough firepower to root you out. <laughs> That's the only HE I have, and... I just don't see how I'm ever going to be able to get to that objective with all these Germans in hard cover. And that's it for me. Oh wait, I have a... F no, I used the four. So yeah, I'm done. Alrighty. Ooh, I'm upset because I lost 42 shots or something <laughs> with the machine gun. Because Andre wants to enforce the one-inch separation between units rule. I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> I do is just kind of blowing off with that. It's like I don't even know if that's a rule in this. Game. I know in you, bolt action it is. You're, you're getting all your guys intermixed there, aren't you? Supposed to keep an inch between them? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I actually didn't think it was going to make any difference whatsoever, but I'm glad it had an impact. Yeah, thank you, Andre. Hey, I'm here for you. We see how you are. Uh, like you didn't know. Uh, anyway, so what'd you get? A four, a pair of ones. So he tried, or he was going to target my officer, so I had to use an interrupt to move him out of the way. So I'm down to one dice and a five on another one. This team can actually see these guys, so they're going to put covering fire on them. And, and then, then he's going to fire the cannon up there. Were you going to fire your overwatch from the covering fire? I don't know if I can fire overwatch from covering fire or not. Seems just, like you ought to be able to. I mean, yeah. I'm shooting at you. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, Unless so you six, kill like six guys, and I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so two hits. No, three. I'm sorry, you got three fours. Uh, uh four, five, six. All right, yeah. So team on the left. Team on the right. Uh, point of shock on the team on the right. Now I got covering fire on me, but I will fire my Overwatch this time. Team on which? Which right? From uh, where you were standing or? <laughs> my right. So looking this way. That's what I was thinking, but you were standing over here when you said it. And I'll fire my other gun then. Ouch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven hits, but you can split them between those two teams. That was a hell of a shot. Well, they're pissed off. They lost 40 something shots of this game already. Well, talk to your CO. Don't no. take it out on us. Let's talk to the rules lawyer, Andre, and it's one inch <laughs> gap between units. Pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> okay. There will be a time in this game where I'm going to nitpick your ass to death. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andre, you can't do that. You're a quarter inch too far. <laughs> Hopefully it's soon. Okay, so uh, four on the rifles. All right, dead in the shock. And uh, the other guys, nothing. Check your leader. So dead in a shock on the uh, team, and nothing on the uh, gun. Is that it for you? Oh yeah. Okay, back to the Americans. You know what I've been forgetting? Of course I haven't shot you. I was going to say I forgot to reroll once, <laughs> but I don't think I've actually <laughs> shot that one grand yet. <laughs> oh, I'm just kind of pre predispositioned to <laughs> saying I forgot to reroll once. 
Okay, well, there we go. Back up to two. And then four, two, two. Damn, I can't fire my stupid tank. All right, so with the two twos, I moved those guys over. We're gonna try to go this way. This way is not happening. He still has a jump off point here. He has a squad left. That's not gonna happen. So I have to reshift re my strategy. Brought the, I'm gonna bring the barrage back, but before that, I'm gonna use the four, who's also gonna move the barrage. He's gonna activate those uh, machine gun squad up there. And firing at the 18. Rules question. Yeah. The uh, covering fire, does that remain in effect until my next turn, or is that just good for one set of firing? I think it probably is still in this turn here. So three hits, Whew. I think. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I, it was a legit rules question. I, I think it really does last till the end of the next phase. I That's how right. I remembered it. But So three hits. I'm a foggier uh, rules person than most. Oh, yeah. So Except you, for the one inch gap. <laughs> oh no, that's units. not a real thing. I just made that up, Travis. <laughs> it could be true. I don't know if that's true or not. But. Okay, the rifles. <laughs> Die. Okay, point shock. Hey, oh. a dead gunner. So one dead out of here and a shock on them. So check your leader. I thought you were shooting. I'm shooting. You're splitting them. Oh, that's right. I thought I was uh, splitting them this way, but... Uh, so check your leader here. Okay. Come on, leader. Nope. All so right. a dead guy out of here. And, and another shot. Sh or actually, that's a shock on the machine gun, yep. which is a different. And then I'm going to move the barrage up. Which you just did. I did just now. Yep. So now I will roll the dice. So the gun. One hit on the gun. Nothing, and then this team, and then the other team. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to remember why we thought the barrage was so deadly, and we had to house rule it. <laughs> because uh, you used to roll her. I was rolling a lot better than you're rolling. There was tonight. a time when the house, when the barrage was so powerful, we just had to make a, a had to nerf it a little bit. <laughs> well, Suddenly, I'm wondering why is that? And we would actually, uh, as a courtesy, just not take it on some assault missions just because it was too easy to roll over the other person yeah well i guess when you're rolling four every time for no you know regardless so yeah. your phase andre uh yeah okay these dice that is not a double phase it's not but i'm almost catching up to you i'm only too short yeah but i burned through like three of them already <laughs> well there is that yeah so what'd you wind up with a uh, one so andre two, moved these guys up here i don't know if he's planning on making a bum rush this way or what but uh, mostly i'm just trying to get out of the barrage so yeah i think he measured it out it's uh what a 30 second of an inch away from this guy and well, then uh <laughs> actually yep <yeah. laughs> I actually got lucky on that one. And then uh, he took two shock off of there. And then that's it. So it's my phase. So give me a double phase here. Nope. But the start of another chain of command. That's kind of like a double phase. <laughs> and then uh, one, three, and so a Sergeant four. Baldwin had uh, everyone move out, took the shock off of them. And then I put these guys on overwatch with the turret turned this way. And Andre measured to make sure that I was... Uh, there's an, a, an eighth of an inch clearance. So we got two inch. Uh... <laughs> anyway, and then I moved the barrage with the one this way. So now I'm hitting all these guys that are trying to hit all, uh, the two teams in the barrage again. So the gun. Nope. The other guys, uh, one. So. Oh, and then the other guys. Oh, four on one what? team and one on the other. So oh. one on them, four on them. I think it's by team. Damn. Or is it by squad? I don't know. Uh, I think it's by team. I think so too. So it's only uh, one, one on the uh, this team. Yeah. Four on that team. Okay. All of a sudden they've got six shock. Oh, and you got to roll for it. Those are hits. I'll just take the shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might. You'll probably take less. So these guys here, four. Okay, so four on them. Nothing. Oh, Nothing. a point of shock. One point of shock. You're in soft cover. Soft cover by one. Reduced by one. And and one then hit one on, the on the other, other guy. Point of, point of shock. So, so if you want to take really the six shock, then I'm fine with that. I'll reduce it by <laughs> three. How's that? Okay. 
And I guess uh, that's it for me. So your turn, Andre. Your face. Woohoo! Not doubling up. One, two, three. Creeping up on my second dice. Uh, one, this two, three. This watch jumped the fence and they're 4.075 inches from me. <laughs> you, you can probably assault me if you want to. Oh. Okay, no and fives with that roll, you probably could. Actually, I can do a lot of stuff with this. So Andre is going to do nothing but in the turn, which is going to force me to spend one of my chain of command dice to keep it going, that the barrage that is. And then Andre is banking on a triple six. Which... You knows. can do it, Travis. Come on. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you can do it. I got faith in you. Nope. But two more chain of command points. Just what you needed. <laughs> and two, two, th three. Okay, so I made a four with a three and a one. I had a four. So I Sergeant Baldwin ordered all these squads to move around. And then I had uh, Lieutenant Rogers um, order the spotter and, and moved himself this direction. And with the last two threes, I really don't have anything. I want to leave those guys up there on Overwatch. And the tank is... He's got a chain of command dice with a Panzer Shrek sitting out there. So moving the tank too far up is probably not a good idea with the ambush possibility. So your phase, Andre. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved the barrage up too before I moved. <laughs> Actually, can I move and do the barrage and move the barrage? Probably not, huh? No. Okay, so he'll have to stay. He's got to stay there and make sure they're doing it right. Yeah. But I will call in a. So the barrage actually hit those guys by a millimeter. So two hits on them. And a dead. That's it. All right. Check your leader. No. Oh, took his helmet off, though. Uh, the uh, infantry gun. Three hits on the infantry gun. Shock. And then uh, the team on the left, two hits. Team on the right, three hits. So two hits on the team on the left, nothing. Two hits on the team on the right, three hits. And two points of shock. Two points? Yeah, because it reduces uh, cover by one. So back up to three. Yeah. And that's it. Slow going here. I just hey, I had to re reposition my entire attack. I've taken two casualties. <laughs> two guys. <laughs> I haven't taken any. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I took one. Uh, Somehow I only took one from that barrage of fire I took at the when you deployed all your guys. Either that or he just shot himself out of boredom. <laughs> Not another Second chance at command dice. Yeah, so we're tied. Well, I got one extra of it. So you wind up with a uh, two threes. So it's my face. Come on, double phase. Man. Looks like we had a bunch of double phases early and then nothing. Yeah. Or I had a bunch. Oh, you even got some. I know I had <laughs> at least two, maybe three, that were totally wasted. So one, two, two, three. three. Sergeant uh, Baldwin had all these squads sprint. If I would have got, what, a 14 or 12, 12 all I needed yeah. a 12 with them with 3d6, I didn't make it. These guys got what I needed for them. So this is what it looks like now. They all took a point of shock. The tank actually drove up. And then I'm going to fire the, uh, with the one, I'm going to do the barrage for everyone using our house rule. So these guys here, one hit. Nothing. Nothing. The gun, two hits. One dead. Oh, check and your leader. That four is a shock, right? Oh, okay. Well, no, I guess the gun shield wouldn't, because it's coming in from above. Yeah. So, so a dead and a shock. So those guys are actually starting to get whittled down a little bit. Oh, I told you it happens. It's just. And then the uh, team next to them. Two hits. Uh, nothing. And the team next to them, one hit. Nothing. Okay, and that is it for me. So it is Andre's turn. Not a double face. <laughs> one, two, four to work three. I uh, took point of shock off the squad, ran up here, captured that one. And then the lieutenant who was back here ran himself up, pulled the point of shock, and then ordered them to move. And that is 
it uh, for me. So back to Andre. Just don't roll a triple six yet. <laughs> I need to get three more chain and command points. <laughs> oh, like it would. Oh! oh no. you're, hey, I <laughs> followed your instructions. Event. I did not roll a triple six. Okay. And a double phase and a random actually, event. Actually, and talk about random, I just pushed those together. Oh. And they were just randomly in a swastika. <laughs> oh, there you go. I just okay. rolled a random swastika. <laughs> okay, then we'll have to roll. So Andre uses two to deploy this squad here, and he's going to fire this machine gun at them. And then the turn will end. Oh, and the random event was <laughs> bogus. Worthless, yeah. <laughs> so fours? Yep. Two, four, six hits. I have six dice right here. It just happens to be. Sweet. Uh, one dead, two dead, and a shock. So check the leader. Nope. Two dead yeah. and a shock. And now the turn will end. And I'm not going to keep the barrage going because it would only be for one more phase because Andre could just end it the next phase. Unless you roll trip fives. <laughs> so we'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> Which could happen. But neither one of us really wants it to. <laughs> Actually, that could happen, so... Are All you right. changing your mind? No, we'll just end it. So let's pull this off. Okay, so, well, they're no longer pinned, first of all. Barrage is over. And we have a weird situation here that uh, smoke lifted. Suddenly we're within fisticuff range. Neither one of us moved. We're just, all of a sudden, there they are, right in front of us. But then I got these guys that are within fisticuffs, but they're looking this way, they're looking that way. <laughs> it's just it's damn confusing well and then but I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't hear what's happening so we decided we're just going to do this one first and then these guys can well you have to resolve one before the other you can't have simultaneous assaults right I don't know we I don't we, I think we've had this question before we usually don't have that but well where it really gets jacked up though is who's attacking whom because I would love to be the defender with my two machine guns in right. the forest and but no one moved but so, no one moved <laughs> so yeah it's just a very weird strange situation here so in the end we're just going to do these two so he gets 12 i get 15. So i'll roll mine over here uh, i only got four only yeah only four and you got nothing one. Yep. So I had two sixes. I'm toasted. You had a six. So I take a. So let's check our leaders. It's not my leader. It is your leader. See which one it is. Oh no, there's only one leader in there. So what happens to him? He takes a light wound. So, so we resolve the fisticuffs stuff. right away just because the turn ended and the smoke cleared. I won. I, I advanced to occupy his uh, position. Roll a couple of bad things. Uh, one for losing this jump off point. One for a leader wounded. And he uh, dropped two, so he's down to eight or nine. And then, um, what else? What else? I think that was it. That was oh, not. they broke. And they ran over here and they have six shock with six guys. So one more and they're going to be pinned. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to get another double phase with a whole bunch of threes and fours. <laughs> Another double phase. But not a whole bunch of threes and fours. A three and a one. Well, I'll take it. I'll so take it. Lieutenant Adler came in here. And he turned the had the gun turn. These guys tried to run into the rat bastard, but they uh, have more shock. They got three shocks and he only rolled a three. And he also had these guys enter the building here. So the next double phase. <laughs> Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I will take a roll like that. All right. right so now. he, uh, the leader, ordered them upstairs. Took the shock off when they got there. They made a twelve. Got all the <laughs> way up to the freaking top floor of the windows. And then he, uh, with a one, he turned them around. I think he also ordered them. Actually, they turned around last turn. This turn, I've got a one, and uh, they're still gonna fire. Yeah. So I'm screwed, basically. He's going to fire out of these two windows with them. I used my last dice to interrupt. Tried to get up here in the fisted cuffs with them from the side. Didn't make it. Stopped right in the open. Ready to receive two MG42s. And basically the game is over at this point because 
there's no way in hell I'm going to get all these guys out of this hardcover with rifles and a Sherman. So, all right, go ahead and do all your shooting then. So what shooting do you have? The cannon and then these guys, right? Well, I've got uh, shooting here. We well, can't see anything from there. Well, I can stick my head out the window and shoot those guys. Okay, but you'll be in the open. Yep. All right. So a machine gun sticking his head out the window here, and then the cannon, and then these guys. Uh, they uh, move 2d6. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the cannon can shoot. Or was that the turn? I don't remember. It's been three No, that phases. was the turn before. Okay, so they'll shoot. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much over for the Americans at this point. At least you didn't get another double phase. This is true. <laughs> All right, we'll get the dice we'll start together. Start with this team here and the, the leader. The other team is behind the other Oh, team, so but I'm shoot. down two for shock, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. One. So. Oh, yeah, two. Okay. So needing four. So that's only ten shots. Okay. Three hits. And you were targeting these guys. Yeah. Okay, so three hits on those guys. A point of shock. And six more from the cannon. Six more from the cannon. Two hits. Two hits. <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> uh, same, well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, point of shock. Wow. Oh. Not as bad as it could have been for damn sure. Yep. And that's your phase or? No, that oh, that's sticking right. my head sticking out. Sticking head out the window. Shooting those other guys. So that's. Eight shots. For both machine guns or I can only stick one head out? Well, if you stick your head out and then you stick your head out, how are you going to shoot past the guy sticking his head out in front of you? Well, one guy <laughs> sticks his head out and shoots first and then no. the other guy sticks his one head out. One team, Andre. Um, <laughs> if you had a guy on the top floor, definitely, but. Do I? Yeah, no, I, I, I got to agree with what you're saying. I just don't <laughs> like it. Um, is it worth eight shots to stick my head out? I wouldn't do it. Because you can get hit. That machine gun team will be in the open. But to fire back at me, you would have to stay where you're at in the open. Or do marching fire. But that's only 1d6. Or 2d6 and fire at half. You see 1d6 full, 2d6 half. Hmm. Nope, I cannot. Double phase. Seriously. And a 2, 3, and a 4. Travis is going to try and glimmer this after a all. A glimmer of hope. <laughs> but still, like Andre said, I'm in the worst possible position I could be in. Surrounded by machine guns and hard cover, and I'm in the open. <laughs> <laughs> all because Andre got exactly the roles he needed. I mean, it couldn't have been any more perfect. Oh, it, no. It, in the uh, turn, and the barrage. We were talking about. And then a serious good we, roll after that. <laughs> we, we were talking about, we should just call this. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, no, you still got a chance. And I'm, well, <laughs> the only chance I've got is if I roll a triple six and, and then followed by then a double follow phase. it up with a double phase within the next turn, phase or two. And then after the double phase, get all the dice to move to do everything. <laughs> so if that were to happen, yeah, I've still got a chance. Um, <laughs> well, here we are. Yep. Now it's my turn to have a chance. All right. So tough decision for me. Um, these guys are toast. They have four shock. Well, I'm gonna try to pull as many guys back as I can but he's gonna interrupt either way so what I'm gonna decide to do is I'm gonna try to get back into fisticuffs with the cannon but he's gonna unload on me first 16 shots needing fours two three four five is all five is all okay Uh, dead and two shock. Check the leader. Oh, it's him. Let's see what happens to him. He's knocked out. That was a nice one. And then and two, two shock. more shock. Yep. And you're out of dice. I'm out of dice. I'm at six shock. But I'm still going through with it. If I can make it. <laughs> I was going to say, uh... <laughs> I only got to get, what, an inch? 
So, 2d6. Oh! He makes it. So we're going to make it into fisticuffs with the cannon. All right, so the American bonsai charge. Lost my leader, so I lost two there. So I'm at six only. He's at seven, so go ahead. Uh, three dead. With one six. With one six. And one, two, three, oh. four dead. I wiped them out. So you actually lost by one, but it doesn't matter because you're dead. And I can consolidate and take up position in there and get shot from behind. <laughs> it's like, oh, the hard cover will be great. Well, except for when I'm getting shot from the rat bastard at point blank range. So I lost three guys, right? Uh, three guys and one more shock. Well, let's check the leader again. No. So three guys will die. I'll take another point of shock. Actually, I might be pinned at this point. Uh, I was going to say, are you pinned or broken? Actually, being pinned right here is not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm pinned. Which, hey, I'm fine with that. So I won't be occupying any hard cover in the middle of the street. And, okay, so that was the two. And I have a three. No, that was a... Yeah, I guess the two. I have a three and a four. So the machine gun squad with the three, I'll actually pull off this shock too. Um, actually, yeah, I have to do that. I have to fire them. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna target those guys. See if I can put a hurting on them. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits on you. Uh, eight. eight. Four is hit, right? Fives. Okay. Sorry. Long range. Long range. Uh, wow, you only had one four. <laughs> five hits. That was more than that, wasn't it? Hey, five hits. <laughs> Nazi, Nazi revisionist history is full force. It's seven hits. <laughs> hey, we tried. So two dead and three shock. Check your leader. No. Ooh. Okay, and he also rolled a bad thing happened for all this. He lost the team. He lost the junior leader. He dropped two more. He's down to seven. With the four, I just had Sergeant Baldwin have these guys run, 3d6, I made it all the way back to here, and then he used his last two to pull two shock off, so they're at one shock each now, for a team. And we move on to the next phase. Oh, and, uh, yeah, that squad in the road, did I say what happened to them? I don't they're, know, but they're pinned. They're definitely, yeah, they're pinned, they lost a team. Did you roll a bad thing for that? Um, Losing the team? don't think so. I think I was already down to seven before that happened, wasn't I? Yeah. So, my bad thing, ooh, a nice big six. Really? They're always good. Team wiped out on the six. That can't be good. I think it's just one. Minus two. Might really. Oh, no, one, yeah. It's If they break, it would have been minus two. Yeah. It actually would have been better yes. <laughs> if you broke. Well, you can still uh, break them. I can still break you. So one, two, four, four, and a chain of command point. All right, so with the two and the one, I'm going to bank a three, and I'm going to try to finish these guys off. And then with the two fours, I pulled all the shock off this squad, that, and then uh, ordered them to move back around here to full run. And they took two more shock, but we're out of line of sight, so... We're moving the wrong direction. So 20 shots onto those guys there. Small team. One, two, three, four, five. Needing fours or fives? Six. Five, six, so I got six. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So go ahead and roll them up. You're in soft cover now though, because you're pinned. So a dead and... Nothing. Just a dead. <laughs> Check your leader. Check your leader, Andre. I don't want to check my leader. <laughs> Maybe better off it was him, though. Yeah, it is. is. And... Nothing, just a light wound. But he already had Okay, a... so he's dead. Yeah, he loses his last command. And so you... Leader killed. Roll a bad thing for that. Junior leader killed. One. Minus one. Okay. 
Minus one. And team breaks, or yeah, because they have four with two guys, so they're double, so they're gonna actually break. Nice. So roll uh, team breaks. One. Minus one. Then you get lucky on those. Yeah, lucky, I'm down to four. <laughs> Are you really? Yes. Oh, sweet, so you're gonna lose a dice for that. And they're gonna but break. They broke, made it back there. Andre's down to four, so you're down to four dice now. Yeah, I'm not sure I want a double phase now. Man, that, I can't believe that how that swing went. Oh, no. <laughs> two and a four to work with. Actually, that's not horrible. With the two, he's just gonna come out and see if he can just wipe these guys out. So I get only five dice. I'll let you, you want me to go first. So I got two of you with two shock. And you got one, two, two three and a half. Three. <laughs> so three. So I lost by one. So But you didn't take any more shock. That's true. <laughs> but that might break me. So at the end of the day here, or the phase. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> end of the day. End of the day. Seems like it. The uh they broke. And they left the table, so that was leader routes and team breaks. And Which I rolled should a have one been game a, over. I rolled a two and a one, so I only lost two on my force morale. Thank God for that. Which it could have been a whole of a lot worse. Oh, that that could have been a game ender right there. <laughs> I was uh, counting on better. And then uh, so he still has a four left to work. So with. I'm going to pull two shock. And then these guys took two shock and lost two men. And I'm going to use my last command to order those guys out and over to the objective, I believe. You're leaving the rat bastard. Well, it's about to get pummeled, so yeah. So he pulled the two shock, and then he ordered them shock. They had shock? Okay. They had two, and then I pulled them. Okay. And then he ordered them out of the rat bastard, and they're going to come back towards the objective. And it is now my phase. Another chain of command point. Two three is a two and a four, which is pretty good. Okay, so with one three, I ordered marching fire, and they moved up one d six. So everyone within four of is going to shoot them. Uh, with the two, I'm going to have the machine gun squad shoot at them. With the four, I moved uh, Lieutenant Rogers uh, back this way. I took off two shock, and with the other three, I backed the Sherman up into the orchard. <laughs> And we'll now do some shooting. So first we'll do the machine gun squad. Andre's fixing the, uh, the dice tray. And here. with a zero, I fix the dice tray. So fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Wow. With that. Split them up with eight uh, hits. Two per. It's going to be two per team, and then the two extras will be... So give me a team. Actually, I guess it's totally symmetric because they're the same and they both have one shock. So yep. one of the teams. Well, Light uh, cover. Three shock. Shit. <laughs> so you're at four shock here. So the next, oh, the other man. team will be the, the broken team. One of those. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of shock. One more shock. So the broken team... One dead. Because you're in the he's in the open. He's in the open. So you just lose another guy, but no shock. So you're down to one guy there. So and oh yeah, these guys will now fire. Uh, that squad now firing. Uh, did marching fire with one d six, so I get fired full effect. But only six of them are uh, within four of the hedge. So three hits. On. Uh, He's this squad here. One on the four. Nothing. And two on the others. Nothing. I'll take it. All that for nothing. Well, I'll I'm, take it. I'm in position now. I need it to nothing. And that's it. So it's your phase. This has been a hell of a game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From you can't win to I'm screwed to now you're screwed. <laughs> and maybe go back to I'm, I'm screwed again. I was going to say... I don't know who I'd want to bet on at the moment. If I had a double phase, I'd say me, but that wasn't a double phase. Just a waste. Three and a four. The squad that was in the road here uh, pulled a couple shock. Yeah. And then you ordered him with the leader. Yeah, I used the three to pull the shock, ordered them into the building with the 
Your leader. And they barely made it, but they have a, they're almost pinned now. I think you're about one short of being yeah, pinned or something. one short of pinned. And then uh, these guys, because he had to move in with 3D6 because he had so much shock. And then uh, these guys are trying to make it into the objective here. And they didn't quite make it. I think it. we can take the, <laughs> all we have to do is take the objective when we win the game. <laughs> and it is now the American turn again, which I don't know what I'm even going to do. I did get a chain of command dice. <laughs> oh. Which is good. And then two twos and two ones. So I just moved the tank back. I'm trying to get into a better firing position over here. Like line of sight on the buildings. Because he still has his panzer track off the board. And that's worrying. Wor worrisome to me. And this little patch of woods here is really gumming up the tanks. Because <laughs> it's blocking line of sight to everything. So I'm going to try to get over here. And from here I can actually fire up pretty much on all the buildings. So he won't have anywhere to hide. That's then, actually not true. As soon as you do that, I'm going to pull out of the buildings and just hang out behind them. Okay. And but then, uh, at least it'll keep you out of the buildings. It will. And then the last three, I'm going to use the machine gun squad and see if I can finish this guy off somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> She's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. One of those has to be a six. Actually, just a five because you're in the open. Oh no, you're a uh, light cover because you're pinned. Small team. <laughs> Small team. <laughs> Two more shock. Oh, a six. Oh, it was cocked. It was very cocked. Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, you're killing me, Andre. So he's only at two shock? I doubt that. <laughs> Oh, those guys aren't as shocked out as. A... Yeah, you might have put the wrong shock I got marker on. The wrong marker on the wrong dude. Yep. And that's it for my. Back fans. to the Germans. Hey, okay. all my senior, senior leaders. leaders. Both squads. So you got uh, this squad moved in here with the four, and then he did nothing over here because he had no threes to pull shock. So back to the American phase. I got two squads, so the machine gun squad, I don't have to get them on the move. And then the other squad I got, so I got two maneuver elements left that I'm going to have to start doing something with. So that'll work. Two threes and one and a four. It's called efficiency, Andre. So these guys were ordered by Lieutenant Rogers to run. They got all the way over to here. And then he used his final two orders to pull the shock off. And then with the other three... Wait, what did I say? Oh, I moved the tank again. And I had another three. Hmm, I, I was going to do something with them, wasn't I? <laughs> I was going to try to finish that guy off again. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I'm going to actually fire my 60mm uh, mortar for the second time today. And we're going to target him. Eden fives. Ooh. Oh, we got one. Okay, now it's a five or six as I reduced cover by one. Damn. Just another stuff. shock. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to shoot at him with the damn machine guns again. I want to get them. How open. hard is it to hit one guy lying in the street? <laughs> Finally, pretty hard. Machine guns again at that bastard. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Oh wait, a cock dice, Andre. Yep, I saw that. Six hits. Okay. All right, I'm going to spread them out amongst the team. <laughs> so, odd say that <laughs> you should roll a six on six dice. Come on. Are you saying I'm odd? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Double dead. Double tap. Now the all-important bad things happen roll. Yep. Come on, okay. six. Three or under. Three. Yeah. Team wiped out. Yeah, nothing. No, it is. Minus, minus one. Seriously? Yeah. I thought it was... Team uh, wiped out. It's only on one or two? Yeah. Oh, it's I three. miscalled that. So, oh. that drops Andre down to three. And that loses him another dice. And is that the one where I get to take a uh, jump off point out? It says right there. Three. Command dice reduced by two oh, from no, the starting total. The next one, I'm going to get to remove it. 
I can remove a jump off point, that'll re reduce the risk of the Panzer Shrek a little bit. <laughs> and I think that is, that's it for me. So Andre's phase with three dice. That's that. Three dice is really all I need. <laughs> you need a four. Yeah. Hey, I changed the command point. And a four and a one. Okay, so uh, Lieutenant ordered two shock off of them before he departed tactically with that squad to there. Now it is the American phase again. Another chain of command point. And a bunch of fours, a three and a one. With the one I moved my mortar. They do have rifles, so they're just gonna be part of the, uh, lugging their mortar around with them, but they're gonna start moving up. These guys hopped the fence with a four. Um, another four, they moved up. And then I moved the tank up 1d6 and I have line of sight down here on the building. So firing on the building. One, two, three, four hits in soft cover. So split them up. First team of two. Point of shock. Second team of two. Point of shock. So another point of shock each. And I think Still got the, oh no, the three I did the tank. So yeah, your phase. So as it stands now, I have the building pretty much cut off. The machine gun squad is covering the street. These guys will be covering the back exit and the tank can just start shelling. So he's gonna have to do something. Two, nice. Two twos and a one. Well, he said he, all he needed was three dice. <laughs> it is, it actually is nice. So this squad is running this way. Took a couple shock. They're trying to get clear. The machine gun squad actually has line of sight through this gap. So if he would have got around the corner, he would have been out of line of sight. Inch. But he's in line of sight now. And then these guys tried to get out of the house. They One did. more inch. They did get out of the house. <laughs> Since I lost my overwatch when I moved up, they uh, that was their chance. They, they didn't make it. And now it's the American phase. And I forgot to reroll ones the one time I fired his rifle. Two more chain of command points, two threes and a one. The three, the tanks moving around on 1d6. We're gonna take a shot at uh, the squad over there. Uh, with the another three, the machine gun squad's gonna fire onto those guys. And then the one, the mortar, is gonna fire. So machine gun squad first, needing fives. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits. The machine gun squad's been doing work tonight. Today. <laughs> tonight, today, today well, tonight. Well, this is actually this day two of this game. <laughs> We're getting them mixed up. All right. So split them up. So, uh... I guess you haven't taken any casualties yet. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's all symmetric over there. We still need to split them up. Well, I got four each, but... Okay, so a dead and a shock. And a shock. Yep, so roll for your leader. Oh, which one is it? You got uh, lieutenant. So it's, it's the lieutenant. The senior leader. Come on. Oh man, so he's uh, knocked out. Congratulations. All right, awkward left-handed handshake. That's game. We'll come back and wrap it up. Okay. Well, that was a wild game, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we've ever played a game where I've been so certain I was going to win and lose and, and win, win and, and lose. lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with absolute certainty, I thought, there's no way. Well, first I thought, I can't lose. Then I thought, man, I'm screwed. How am I ever going to get him out of here? And then I thought, I got this. And Andre actually had the same exact thing. He thought, I mean, like you said earlier, you were last night you wanted to concede. My, yeah, <laughs> my, my swings weren't as uh, quite as dramatic. It was more... I'm screwed. I've got a chance. I'm screwed. I, well... Although coming into it, I really didn't think I could lose this um, just because it is so hard to deal with uh, veterans. I've got the late war Germans with incredible firepower. Um, rooting them out is just oh, it's a nightmare. So difficult. I I just I really didn't think Travis would be able to pull it off. Well, I think the Sherman is the only thing that 
because obviously you're not in any buildings. <laughs> and that's because of the Sherman, I think. The long range uh, HE9 howitzer. Yep. I mean, I can just sit back and pummel. So, plans, what was your plan? Um, to wait for you to come in and try and, you know, obliterate you as you got close. I. I probably went off a little too early, but I'm also a little gun shy about losing too many jump off points too early. And, uh, you know, uh, I saw the opportunity. I really thought I could pin that uh, section. Oh, these guys? That, yeah. yeah. That was a big point in the game because they should have gotten yeah, hammered. I was, I was pretty sure I could pin that section out and at least keep them from moving out of my range and I could just, you know, you weren't going to win that battle of attrition. No. And another thing I was reading the rule book a little bit, the, the howitzer actually has a nine inch minimum range. And oh wow. I think you were pretty, we were within an inch of that. So <laughs> it didn't really do a whole lot anyway, but, and actually you couldn't have even done this shot either then. No. So. So even after reading the rule book and knowing that, I still let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I forgot to reroll ones for my rifles again. Uh. So, so yeah, my plan was, uh, well, I was going to sit back with the howitzer tank and just shell these buildings. And my problem was like, with the barrage is like, how am I going to, I have to have a building in sight to shell it. So I'm going to have to be easier. very, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to be very careful with the, well, how the placement of the barrage. So my was going to try to shell this building but yeah i don't know it's as you can see the sherman wound up up here and then it wound up back here it's wandering sherman but i did have a plan <laughs> <laughs> you I was just a getting, plan. nobody told the sherman what it was my plan was to shell the buildings with the sherman which i did a couple of times but it took him a while to find the building but he finally uh, located yeah, he it he found one yeah so that was my plan and then obviously that i was going to swing around that way and then that thing shut and, that plan down. And that was <laughs> my big, uh, so when I was talking about my plan, I think I was looking at putting the minefields over here more, mm -hmm. but I was thinking they were going to block a, a bigger chunk. And as I saw the size of the minefields and I saw I couldn't block off that entire piece and I saw this gap over here and I thought, you know, if I was Travis, I would probably try and flank around this side. Yeah. I think that's an excellent <laughs> spot for a minefield because I've got the window arc here. Oh, yeah. If he tries to jump over the wall, he's in the open. Uh, it was a great spot for a minefield. Yeah. It uh, completely derailed my whole plan. Right, in, in, you know, instantaneously, I had to think of something else on the fly, and that's when I realized, oh, I can hop over this fence and be hidden until I get up here, and then. Then I thought for sure, okay, here comes the pain. Full pens are going to deer squad plus a cannon. And then I miraculously somehow would I lose an A guy and took two shock or something out of all that? <laughs> ridiculous. If it was that bad. I mean, yeah, it was ridiculously ineffective. Yeah. Another thing that was ridiculously ineffective was the barrage. I'm kind of wondering. You, you say that. I'm saying that was your MVP. <laughs> no, no, no. S okay. Well, Seriously? Anyway, I don't know. I uh, have to think about that. We'll, we'll cover that in the wrap up. Okay. The, the patron wrap up. So, um, yeah. So the somehow we won. Sergeant Baldwin got his uh, inaugural game, and he did a great job. He's been right at the front this whole game. He actually started over here, and he got over here, and he's been doing well. And even the butter bar lieutenant did pretty good. And, Honestly, everybody. I mean, there weren't a lot of units that were particularly ineffective the mortar <laughs> yeah of course yeah. he's kind of an afterthought over there yeah so anyway that's it for this one so as usual check out our facebook group um you want to see some cool stuff on there a lot of people posting a lot of their uh, hobby progress and it's some really good stuff check out our patreon page you want to help the channel out and uh, keep it going and make it better and that's about it so uh any last words andre Wow. Wow, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it was quite a game. So that's it for this one. We'll see you next time.